This is in continuation of one of the previous videos where we looked at configuring Cloud on RAM for IIS with AWS. In this video, we will look at configuring Cloud on RAM for IIS with Azure and extend the SD-WAN fabric connectivity using Transit VNet architecture. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. I have an instance running in a host VNet in Azure South India region and an edge in a branch. Now using Cloud on RAM, we will extend the SD-WAN connectivity from the branch to the Azure's Cloud instance. So let's begin. Let's check the configurations in Azure. So let's go to the SD-WAN VNet. Let's go to the address space, and this is the address space that we have defined for this VNet. And within this address space, we have defined an host subnet, which is a slash 25. So let's go back. Let's look at the Ubuntu configuration. And you can see the Ubuntu has an IP address from the host subnet that we have defined in the VNet. The first thing that we need to do is to go to marketplace. Let's search for CSR here. Let's choose SD-WAN. And here, let's click want to deploy programmatically. And here, let's go and enable this let's register our app so let's create a new registration let's call this narrow we manage Let's give it a path to a vManage. Let's hit register. Now we need to know the tenant ID and the client ID here as this will be required in our Cloud on RAM workflow. So let's copy this and save it in a file. Let's go to certificates or create a new secret. Let's call this uh, vManage key. And let's copy this key as well as this will again will be required for our workflow. Let's go to subscriptions. And within subscription, let's go to IAM. Add a new role assignment. Here, select the role as contributor. Let's select our vManager. Also, please note your subscription ID for the account as that will again be needed during the workflow. Now we're done with Azure, so let's go back to vManage and begin a workflow. So the first thing that we need to do is associate the templates. So let's go to templates. Let's choose our CSR Azure template. Now this is a simple template with interface defined in the transport and the management VPN. I also defined a system template. Here, let's go to advanced. And here, ensure that you have gateway tracking and track transport set to off. This is required as per Azure environment. So let's attach this template. Let's choose our CSR devices. Let's fill in the details. So 
let's click next let's check our configuration it's configured Now the templates are scheduled to be pushed when the device comes online. Let's go back to the main dashboard. Let's choose Cloud on Ramp IS. Let's add a cloud instance. Let's choose Azure. And here, let's fill in the details that we saved from the Azure portal. Let's choose South India. Let's call this SD WAN Transit. Let's select 1732. Let's select the size as DS3. Let's associate our CSRs. Let's click Advanced and choose 10.1.0.0/24 as our transit we need. Let's proceed. Let's select our account. Cloud on ramp identifies a VNet. Let's map our VNets. The VPN is one. And here we need to provide IP addressing for the IPsec connections. Let's provide some loopback IPs. Let's use 65534 as a BGP AS. Let's choose 10.0.0.128/25 as our gateway subnet. Everything looks good. Let's save. So this triggers the workflow process. The vManage is going to make API calls into Azure and bring up the transit vNet and then connect it back to the host vNet. So this takes a while, so I'm going to pause the video and return once it's complete. The process is finished. As you can see, vManage using API calls has created gateway VHS in the Azure transit vNet, has successfully created the local network gateways. In the virtual network gateways. And let's go back to dashboard. Now you can see that we have three managers that are up and running. We have CSR Azure 1 and 2 in addition to the branch edge device. So let's go back to Cloud on Ramp Prius. We have the host minute which is up in that state. Let's check the transit minute. And this is the transit minute details. Let's go back to network and choose our branch device. Let's go to real time and look for BFT sessions. And as we can see, it has successfully built safety sessions to both the devices in the transit unit. Let's go back to the Azure portal and let's click on virtual machines. Now you can see there are two gateway VHS. These are our CSR routers that have been spun up in the VNet. Let's check the virtual network gateways. Let's click on connections. Now you can see that we have two IPsec connections which are in a connected state. These are the IPsec connections from the host VNet to the CSRs in the transit VNet. Now let's do a ping from the open to machine in the host VNet to the branch device. And we see a successful communication between them. Thus, Cloud on Ramp seamlessly extends the SD-WAN to the cloud. That's it for this demo. In a subsequent video, we will look at extending SD-WAN to Azure's virtual WAN infrastructure. Thanks for watching.